3G, 4G, and now 5G. We all love our cell phones and want them to work better and faster. So do the phone companies. That's why they have started putting up 5G small cell towers around Denver. But that better service may actually come at a cost. CBS4 meteorologist Dave Aguilera found 5G could hurt the ability of weather professionals to warn us about severe storms. Well, my biggest worry about this is going to set back our ability to predict the weather to decades in the past. And ultimately, that's going to impact our ability to save lives and property. Dr. Tony Busalaki is the president of UCAR, the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research in Boulder. He and other scientists are worried the new 5G wireless technology may have disastrous impacts on you getting an accurate forecast. And it all revolves around water vapor. Without access to this water vapor information, we wouldn't know how wet the atmosphere, if it's dry or not, and what the potential would be for a severe storm. Forecasters rely on knowing how much water vapor is in a particular storm. This is a kind of a pipeline of moisture coming in. That information can help predict tornado producing storms, damaging hail, or even blizzards. For Colorado and the Mountain West, we'd be losing access to this major variable that's very important for forecasting of severe storms, such as bomb cyclones and heavy snowfall over the Rockies. Weather satellites and 5G signals both use electromagnetic radiation waves. That's where water vapor can be seen. And right next door is the channel designated for 5G. The worry is 5G may bleed over into the vapor signal. If uh, this band is blocking our ability to see. We will be losing our eyes from the sky with respect to water vapor on the planet. Researchers fear if the frequency for water vapor is not protected, it could set forecasting back for several decades. We're losing observations of a major source of energy in the, in the atmosphere. If we don't know what that is, then we're going to be pushing back our forecasting ability to maybe like it was in the 1980s. Right now, the FCC is supporting a proposal that would provide protection for the water vapor band, but many researchers are remaining a little bit guarded. I've been down this road before. Years ago, in a different band, we saw interference from uh, beepers, garage doors, even though we were told there would not be interference. Dave Aguilera, covering Colorado first. Last month, members of the FCC were at the World Radio Conference working on a solution to that 5G forecasting problem. We'll be following any new developments and keep you posted.